Hello family and friends. The temperatures are cooling off and a lot of plants are going dormant and but the pansies are still thriving. Um, a lot of plants won't make it through the frost because they just won't make it. And impatience is one of those. We're going to be pulling those out today and replacing them with pansies. Uh, something that can definitely handle the cool temperatures. Now these really put on a show. These are vincas, and they they put on a show this uh, spring and summer. They'll be coming out, and we'll be replacing them with pansies. Now this white here was really an eye catcher because it's uh, used. She likes using white uh, all through her yard, and it's just nice. It can be seen for quite a distance. And, but it's time for these to go because we'll be getting frost in a couple weeks and I might not be here to to get them after that and anyway it's it's a mess after the frost hits them they look terrible and it's a mess to deal with so we're gonna pull all these out get a clean slate and come back with the pansies Okay, now we have a clean slate, and I have my little flower shovel here. As you can see, it's a small, small spade on the end of it. Clean slate coming through here. We have some dianthus left over from the summer. Look at that. That's going to add a nice little pop of red for a little while until frost anyway. Now the dianthus, those are perennials. They will come back. Well, these here never leave, and once the blooms are finished, you still have this frosty uh, blue foliage here. I'm gonna put in some some pansies, uh, red and white pansies, the matrix white and the scarlet matrix red. And over on this side, we're gonna run a drift along the front here. Uh, I might leave that geranium just to see how long it will last. We'll uh, probably do a little deadheading on that, but we'll leave that in there just for some texture. Then we're gonna put the pansies down the front, run a drift in front of these liriope, and we have dianthus uh, spaced out through here. All right. And we have a few pansies here, and that Janice is gonna go through and clean them up as usual getting all of the burnt leaves and spent petals see when they look like this she just takes them all the way back to the growth point and snip them off doing that encourages more blooms and lush foliage when you're looking for pansies, you want to look for some that have blooms that haven't opened yet. And you will really see that you get the best performance out of those. And a lot of times if you look, you'll see that these have so many blooms that haven't opened. And then later on in the week, you have a full flower full of blooms. So while she's prepping those, I'll be digging out the holes, getting them placed. So now all there's left to do is water. And the red and white are in. Also in the planter. They look a little saggy now because we're watering. We have this tall quarter line in the pot. That'll probably be gone after frost, but we're just gonna let it last as long as possible. I'll be doing updates on how this fills in. Uh, thank you for watching. This is 
is going to look really nice once they fill in and you'll see the results we'll be doing updates uh, thank you for watching this was just a quick a quick install on our pansies for the uh, fall and winter and a few care tips uh, just water regularly every other day uh, depending on if it rains or not and they're full sun uh, they will tolerate uh, part sun and in zone 7 they'll last all through the winter into the mid spring thank you for watching hit the notification bell and subscribe so that you get all our videos when they're being posted Enjoy your day.